Okay, I'm going to be straight up with you. We did the big poster. Uh, we did the big thing about having three guests on. And so far, during this live, I've had no sound. Tiny's disappeared. Can you please tell me if you can hear me now as I'm talking? Can you hear me? Um, because this, I'm going to be honest with you, it couldn't have got... But it couldn't have gone much worse. Um, how is everyone? You good? Um, oh. uh, so apparently, Tiny's having a few connection problems. Uh, so we're just trying to sort that out. So I guess I've just got to try and keep you occupied until we manage to get him on. Thank you, Martin Too Smooth, for saying that I'm loud and clear. Um, is it worth it? Because I've got nothing to say. Um, let's see if this is going to work. Okay, so I'm currently... <laughs> yes! What's good, bro? Oh, my God. We did it, man. I was sweating, bro. I was sweating. That was... Uh, I'll be honest with you. I found it terrifying. You know what I mean? Because I've just been chatting shit waiting for you to come on. Man. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. What were you saying in the meantime? It was, I, I'm going to be honest with you, as banter goes, it was pretty dry. I'm not going to lie. Sure. Sorry, man. I, I, do you know what, IG? I take full responsibility of that. That was my fault. What? I had to switch off my phone and then switch it on again. Okay. Um, how's life treating you, Tiny? Life is good, bro. I'm currently sitting on the toilet, but not like that. Do you know what I mean? Not like that. Not like that. Not like that, bro. Look, look, not, not like that. Do you okay. know what I mean? But currently just sitting on the toilet, chatting to you. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I, thought you were I thought you were talking about you were sitting on a metaphorical toilet, like you've got a lot of shit that's about to drop. Yeah. Nah, I didn't, know, I didn't know today was going to be that deep, bro. <laughs> Do people call you Rom, by the way? Because yeah. after, after we met last time, in my mind, I've just been calling you Rom. I, I didn't know. I wanted to check that that was cool. No, I like it. I like it, man. I like it. Um, how are you doing with lockdown? Is it, are you finding it tough? Um, yeah, I think the first couple of days was really tough. Like, thank God everybody in the house is so far, like, feeling all right, safe and sound and all that. But the first couple of days was hard because I was meant to go to South Africa to shoot a music video. Right. And, yeah, that didn't go to plan. So I was a little bit gutted about that. But, you know, after catching up with the news and just seeing what's been happening, um, I'm kind of happy that I did stay back. So now I'm kind of getting into being at home. And I heard what Nihal was saying. Big up, Nihal. Um, it's just been nice to spend time with my little girl as well. Um, how are you? Um, how are you finding having that intense amount of time? Are you like? A, are you a hands-on dad anyway? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I would say I'm hands-on when I'm. I'm around, definitely. I don't know if you've seen the little car that's on my Instagram. Um, the little G wagon that I've been driving around. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Act that's actually hers. Okay. So, <laughs> so basically, she's been in it all day, and I've just been like pushing her around and stuff, but. Yeah, I think I'm. A, I think I'm a pretty good dad. Con considering that you and Neha said you're shit dads, I reckon I'm better than you guys. Okay, so it's, it's like a dad battle or some shit, right? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I mean, just because I'm a rapper, everything doesn't have to be a battle. But I mean, you asked if I was a hands-on dad. I think I'm a pretty hands-on dad. Right. And uh, listen, we have got an exciting. We've got exciting news because today is the yeah. debut of spilling the tea, right? Mhm. Mm that's right. You couldn't have said it any better, bro. Is is my toilet too echoey? Uh, do you know what? Can I tell you something? Shall I be honest with you? Go on. You have to ignore the comments because I've ne I'm yet to do an Insta Live on here where somebody hasn't <laughs> said, you're doing it wrong, you look like a prick, the sound's awful, why is your banter so dry? Like, it's just constant. It's like reading your inner thoughts when you see these comments coming off of this thing. Don't yeah, I think all these things on a day-to-day -day basis... It's my toilet too echoey, but um, yeah, no, um, yeah. So what, what was what was the question? What was the, oh, spilling the tea? Yes, spilling the tea. We dropped it today. Um, yeah, for those that don't know what spilling the tea is, um, I linked up with Romesh and we had a bit of banter and just literally talked about life, innit? That's what it was. Just yeah, an overall catch up on life while we were doing some art and it's yeah, proper jokes. It's on YouTube now. And you're doing? Are you doing like loads of episodes? Of that? I'm going to do loads of episodes, yeah. Who, but obviously, because of this corona right now, like, I can't do fuck all, mate, unless I start doing it like this, which yeah. I don't think I'm going to. What, simply based on the... Um, 
based on your internet situation, essentially, right? Yeah, based on my echo eternal. Are you um, are you managing to keep yourself like mentally alright, or are you finding it a bit of a struggle? Um, I'm kind of similar, like with the whole artist thing. Like you know, we self isolate as well. It's kind of like what Niha was saying about writers and stuff and, and comedians. So. I kind of, this time has been good for me because one, I get to spend time with my family and two, I get to write shitloads of music with like no distractions, just being in my like regular home environment. So it's, um, it's kind of nice. That's how I've been keeping kind of mentally active. And then obviously I train quite a lot as well. So in the morning I've been doing like workouts and stuff like that. And then, yeah. The one comment I'm going to respond to right now is they want to see what wine I'm drinking. So I'm going to show them because... I know, I know people are interested in that. What is that? Check it out. It's like, a, I think it's a Rioja still, but check it out. How early are you, um, how early are you start to start the day? Um, usually I start from like 11 a.m. And then, uh, no, <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, do you know what? Um, I don't want to answer that question because it might damn near well be next to 11 a.m. Yeah, but the thing is, though, do you not think that's the problem now, isn't it? Because you're just going to be at home all day. So that's not, that's now not a dysfunctional thing to do, right? Yeah, a lot of people are going to come out of this with, like, drink and drug habits, definitely. Mm. Um, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. How, how, so are you, you start drinking at 11am, you've done your daily workout before that? Uh, I do my daily workout After? After? Yeah, no. No, that's, no, but that's the best way, man. Get smashed up. Yeah, what just so you can't feel it. You feel it the next day. What about you, man? How have you been keeping sane in all of this? Um, I'm just trying to write. I'm just writing non-stop, really. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's like I was in the middle of a tour and it was frustrating, you know, because I was really enjoying doing the tour and touring is like my favourite thing to do. And Same then, here. Obviously, that's shifted. And so I'm just trying to keep keep working, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Not for not for not for money's sake, but just because otherwise I just think if you if you're not busy, you start to like you start to fray at the edges a little bit with everything that's going on, you know. Yeah, especially when you have such a busy routine all the time. Yeah. Of of all the shows that you do, of all the of, of all the T V shows and your podcast, what's the thing that I don't know if you're still doing them or whatever, but what's the thing that you miss the most? I mean, to be honest with you, I think it's it's doing the live stand up, man. I, this is the longest I haven't done stand up since I started. Is like, it? Yeah. So even when I'm not touring, I like going, I like going, dropping at a club and try out new material and stuff like that all the time. I don't, you know, you just gig so much. And yeah. So now it must be three, three and a half weeks, maybe. a you know, since I've, since I've done any live stand -up. that's the thing I miss. Really yeah, and I was meant to come and see you in Hammersmith as well, man. I know, I know. And what's going well, on? What's happened? You're bringing out new music, right? Yeah, I'm bringing out, do you know, I'm bringing out shitloads of music, man. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do the videos now. Because everything is fucked up. So my next record should be dropping at some point this month. Like, I think we're talking 20, 20th. 20th between the 20th and the 24th of this month um but we're just trying to work out whether we should do like a, actually i don't even want to give away the idea but we're finding a way to do that um to do the video while we're still apart but in like a really fun way so right. yeah look out for that and then hopefully by then all this corona blows over and then yeah we can all get back to our regular lives somebody somebody has suggested animated videos oh shit that was the idea these people, are, these people are fucking clever on you, man. <laughs> Psychic. <laughs> fucking hell, get out of my head! Ah! Oh my god. Um, so you've got, so you've only, am I right in saying you've only dropped one, it's only the first song you've dropped, right? Is it yeah, I dropped a song about like 10 days, 10, I think 10 days ago or just over. With no. just, just hit just hit a million views on um, YouTube, which everyone's really excited about. Yeah. So um, if you haven't if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's with notes. It's called Top Winner. But I'm not plugging anything though. I'm on a Catherine vibe. I'm literally. It's just it's just fun to be chatting to you on here, man. Yeah, yeah. So what's your plans for the weekend? 
My plans for the weekend is um, get drunk at probably 10 a.m. because it's the weekend, so that's the yeah. excuse. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'm probably going to... I like your story about what you used to do for the, all, all the KFC guys. Do you get what I mean? All the, all the guys at KFC. So I might kind of get on that vibe, make yeah. some fried chicken and just bake it. Do you get what I mean? And just be in that kind of space for a bit. And then I'm probably going to just write some music, man, and then just chill with my baby. Um cook which i've been doing quite a bit of i haven't uploaded any videos yet because all my food has been shit so you know you have the luxury if you just pre-record it you don't have to upload it straight away yeah, yeah. so I'm, pro I'm probably gonna upload some food videos soon and you then, gonna, yeah. can you do a performance the other night on here i did a performance the other night yeah yeah that was that was so how was that night. that was sick it was sick i did it in my house obviously but it was really good like i, I bust a little sweat which I didn't think was going to happen. So I didn't have a towel. So it was weird. So I was just sweating. Like, it was but you, really, had, really you bad. had a can of disinfectant or something. You, I had a can of disinfectant, yeah, because I, I wanted to spread a positive message. Right, right, right. And, and uh, were you reading these comments while you were doing your performance or were you just ignoring that shit? Um, I mean, it was harder to read the comments, but I'm the type of person that reads comments. So I was still managing to read one or two because I had to big up people actually. I had to like people were telling me where they were from and that and I had to big them all up. So yeah, I read I read a few. Um and uh what is your uh what is your attitude towards um you know when, when you read comments if anybody says anything negative to you do you um do you do you do you let that get to you? Do you ever reply to trolls or anything like that? I'll go around their asses. No no <laughs> You, literally, bro, the way to look at it is, you know, they're all fans, bro. For them to be on your live right now watching us doing what we're doing, you know, they're, they're fans in some way and they're showing love to you in some way, shape or form. But we just live in a new time, innit, where even if me and you are talking as friends, we might have a, a bit of banter between each other, do you know what I mean? And I just feel like we live in that time. So really, like, I've been, I've been rapping for fucking, like, half my life now. I've learned how to not really take it too seriously. Yeah, yeah. Like, because yeah. in real life, they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't say half of the stuff they say to you. You know the ones. Yeah, I know. And are you, are you, with this uh, spilling the tea, are you thinking yeah. you're going to become, because actually, I've got to be honest with you, you, um, you smashed the host in that night. You were good. Oh, cheers, bro. I, I, do you know what? I don't know if you still do the show, but you know the show when you just go somewhere mad random? Like, yeah. Like, I was talking to you about the one that you, when you went to, um, where Genghis Khan is from, which oh, is... Mongolia, yeah, yeah. Mongolia, yeah. So, if, if you end up doing that again, or you're still doing that, I'd love to do one with you, man. Mate, are you being serious? Yeah. yeah. Mate, I'll do, what, Romish and Tiny go travelling? Yes. Mate. Let's do it. And then I'll take you to, to some pop. I'll take you to some spots as well, but it will be a different type of travelling, though. What do you mean? Like, like, you have to get permission from your wife type of travelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, know, she probably won't like me that much after, I don't after know if you're going to be alright with that Mongolia that kind of vibe travelling I don't think I, I can't see that as being something that you'd like you know that you start but, being somebody that likes kind of creature comforts and stuff you know I am I am that sort of person yeah but I'm still very curious about the world and it's, it's on my bucket list to like go to as many places as possible so yeah I'd, I'd be happy to do that with you but would you do, like, outdoor camping and shit like that? Um, couldn't we make it look like an outdoor camp and then I could no, just, like... No, I, do you know what? Can I tell you something? I thought that... I thought that what happens is, is you say that you're going to do the thing, and then you cut, and then they take you off, like, to a hotel. And then after you come back... But it's not like that. Apparently, yeah. the BBC have got rules about that kind of shit. So if you say you're staying somewhere, you have to actually stay there. Motherfuckers. I know. Yeah. Crazy. Um, but listen, Tyne, if you're up for it, man, I'm getting you on. Yeah, man, I'd love to. And then, so what, have you been working out? What, what have you been doing? Because I know you're always talking about your belly and that. So what's been uh, going on? Well, I've been eating like an animal. Like, like an animal about to hibernate. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you. I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been, do you know what I've been doing? Peloton, mate. Okay. Do you know Peloton? What is Peloton? It's that, that spin bike 
It's got the screen. Okay. On it. Okay. It okay. Online classes. We should yeah. do that on some point. We should do that at some point, sorry. Like maybe next week, because on a Wednesday or Thursday I do like a little workout, but I do it quite early, so at ten around ten or eleven. Yeah. And yeah, if you're if you're up for it, I've got a little spin bike as well. You can just show me what it is. Mate, let's do it. Hundred percent. Sorted. I'll put it in my calendar amongst my very packed, busy list of things that I've got to be doing. <laughs> um well, look, man. I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're handling it all well, and it's uh, it's lovely to speak to you, bro. Yeah, you too, bro, man. I hope you're being um, safe as well. Yeah, and listen. Good, uh, look forward to seeing all the new music. We're gonna. I'm gonna talk, talk to the BBC. We're gonna get this travel show hooked up. Um, we're gonna do the workout together. I mean, look, man. I think this is the start of something beautiful. I do too. I do too, and I'm happy that all these people were here to witness it. Yeah. Let's just make sure that the BBC give us a really good budget, yeah, because. Like, I, I, want us, I, I want us to really enjoy it, do you get what I mean? If we don't yeah. enjoy it, it could jeopardise our, our potential friendship and relationship moving forward, so... Correct. I'll tell, yeah. tell you what, though, Tommy, somebody's made a great suggestion. Go on. Spin bike with your wine. I reckon you and I should do a lean exercise. Then. I think that's the way forward. A lean exercise, yeah? Yeah, just get smashed up and then do the spin bike after that. Okay, a lean exercise. All right. You, this is now, you're, now you're talking my language, Ramesh. Right, let's plan it. All right. Actually, to be honest, not much is going to go into the planning of that. No. Um, but yeah, let's discuss it, and I would love to do that. That would be very fun. All right, man. Well, look, uh, love you to speak to you, man. You take care of yourself. Thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. All right, bro. You be safe, yeah? Take care, man. See you soon. All right, peace, man. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'm sorry about the technical issues, and I'm sorry that my hair seems to have turned from looking okay to looking like a proper Asian granddad. Um, it's the heat, isn't it? Um, guys, thank you so much. Uh, next Friday, I I'll be doing the same thing, uh, and our guests will be uh, Sarah Pascoe, Jamie Redknapp, and Murkish Dave. So I'll see you at the same time. Uh, let's hope it goes okay. Let's hope it goes fucking better than this. Uh, have a great weekend. See you later. Love you. Bye-bye.